Last week, we published guidance that describes how existing polio surveillance networks can be used in the COVID-19 response and outlines the measures that should be put in place to maintain an effective level of surveillance for polio. As part of a comprehensive approach, digital contact tracing tools offer the opportunity to trace larger numbers of contacts in a shorter period of time and to provide a real-time picture of the spread of the virus. But they can also pose challenges to privacy, lead to incorrect medical advice based on self-reported symptoms, and can exclude those who do not have access to modern digital technologies. More evidence is needed about the effectiveness of these tools for contact tracing. We also emphasize that digital tools do not replace the human capacity needed to do contact tracing. Starting tomorrow, WHO is convening an online consultation on contact tracing for COVID-19 to share technical and operational experience on contact tracing, including innovations in digital technology.